AABIP video educational series. Tunneled indwelling pleural catheter. Pleural drainage. In this video, we will review the individual steps of attaching a tunnel indwelling pleural catheter to a drainage bottle and draining the pleural fluid. We will be using the Plurix catheter for this educational video, but please note that the individual steps of draining the pleural catheter can be applied to other brands as well. Disposable gloves, valve cap, blue clamp, drainage bottle, alcohol pads, self-adhesive dressing, foam catheter pad, and 4x4 gauze pads are found in the pleural drainage kit. First, the drainage bottle is set up by getting the drainage tubing straightened out. Then the drainage dial is placed in the lock position by moving the dial downwards. Next, the valve cap is removed from the tip of the pleural catheter with a twisting motion and cleaned with an alcohol pad. The catheter from the tubing of the drainage ball is inserted into the pleural catheter through the access tip. You should feel it snap in place. The vacuum in the drainage ball is then activated by puncturing through the vacuum seal. This is done by removing the safety apparatus and then pressing downwards on the phalanges. The drainage dial is then moved to the up position to unlock and allow for pleural drainage through the drainage tube. We can leave the drainage dial open completely in the up position or leave it in the halfway position to allow for slower drainage. Once drainage is complete, the dial is moved back to the down position to lock the drainage tube. The pleural catheter is then disconnected from the drainage bottle. The access tip of the pleural catheter is then cleaned with an alcohol pad and the valve cap is secured by attaching it to the access tip and locked in place with a twisting motion.